Hi, this is Elspeth from Vegan News Daily and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making zucchini manicotti with a tofu ricotta filling. So first up I'm going to get some vegetable sauteing to go into the zucchini manicotti. And I like to use a um, stainless steel pan. I don't cook with oil, so nothing in the pan at all. And uh, to the pan I'm going to add some onions and get them sauteing. So I have a about a half a cup of onions or so, um, a little bit extra, just diced, and I'm just going to let those saute in the pan. And then I'm going to add some garlic to that because I always add garlic to any of my savory dishes. So I've got about um, three cloves of minced garlic. And um, also at this stage, I'm going to add some mushrooms. So I have some finely diced mushrooms. And those will release a whole lot of liquid into the bit, into the pan. So I'm going to let that go for a little while and talk about some of the other ingredients that we need for this recipe. So the next thing I'm going to put in the pan are is um, fresh spinach. You can use frozen spinach. Make sure you dry it out completely and get most of the liquid out. But I'm going to use fresh spinach today. So that'll go for a, little, a few minutes here. And I always have a little bottle of um, water on the side. So if things start to stick in my pan, I can add a splash of water to the pan. But I'll set that aside for now because I know the mushrooms are going to release a whole lot of moisture. It's starting to smell amazing already. Okay. So I'm going to get going on the ricotta part of this recipe. So for the tofu ricotta, I have just one block of ricotta, which I did go ahead and drain off most of the liquid. I see there's a little bit more that's drained out. You can pat it dry with some paper towel. You can also press the tofu um, by putting paper towel around it and then put a chopping board on top and layer a bunch of um, recipe books or something heavy on top of that. But this is just um, extra foam ricotta that I'm going to mash up with a fork. And you could definitely do this in a blender or food processor too, if you prefer a smoother style ricotta cheese. So this is just nicely crumbled. I could do this with my hands, I could do it with a fork, but I just want to mash it all into a bowl. And then I'm going to add some flavor to this tofu, because there's nothing much going on right now. Um, I'm going to use miso. Miso does have salt, um, sort of a high sodium content. So if you are looking for a completely salt-free or low-sodium diet, then don't use me so you can use one of the salt-free seasonings of your choice. So I'm going to just mash that in, get that flavor incorporated. I'm also going to add some, to um, some nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast is going to give this a little bit of that cheesy flavor. Just get that. And all the while, I'll just keep checking on my onions and make sure that they're not sticking to the pan. So, that looks good. Um, the other flavors I add are um, oregano and allspice. Now allspice, you never want to use too much allspice because it can really ruin a good recipe. So just stick to the amount in the recipe, um, about half a teaspoon or so. And I'm just going to mash that all together, make sure everything's incorporated. And now I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. It's optional, but lemon juice adds a nice salty flavor, so I don't like to skip this step. So just squeeze that in. I love this hand-held citrus squeezer. I use it all the time. So that's all ready. Now I'll set this aside and wait for the vegetables to, to be done. So they're looking pretty good. Um, and I could just go ahead here and add in the spinach and let that wilt into the vegetables. So I'll do that right now. So just a few handfuls. This is really um, a great recipe because it has a number of the components of G-bones. If you're familiar with Dr. Furman, he always talks about G-bones. So you have your greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, nuts, and seeds. So with this, we have um, the greens for the spinach. Um, beans, which will be the tofu, because it's made out of soybeans, onions and mushrooms, and um, we're not going to put any berries in here, obviously, but um, we do have some 
Brazil nut parmesan that we're going to sprinkle on top at the end. So that'll take care of the, the nuts part of it. Um, so you can see this top, the spinach just wilting into, into the um, heat of this onions and mushrooms. So I'm going to stop right there. The vegetables are done. And I'm going to add these vegetables to the tofu mixture. So I'm just going to fold these in. And um, you could let the vegetables cool off a little bit before you add it, but it really doesn't matter. So this is all ready to be rolled up in my manicotti. So I'm going to set this aside right here and move on to the zucchini part of the recipe. So with the zucchini, I simply take a zucchini and I've taken the top and the um, bottom off of the zucchini and I, I use a mandolin because I want to get the zucchini slices really nice and thin so that I can fold them, fold them in, so, um, so I can fold the ricotta into it. So when using a mandolin, I always advocate to use a um, safety glove. So I use the safety glove and also use the guard that comes with it. So I'm going to just uh, pop the zucchini here on the mandolin and get a bunch of slices of the zucchini as thin as I can, but not too thin. I just want to make sure I get nice slices. I'll show you how they come out. And then I take these slices of zucchini and I set them aside on um, paper towel, just to, the paper towel will just collect so you can see how lovely and thin these slices of zucchini are. So these are perfect. Um, I just lay this on a paper towel so the paper towel can absorb any moisture that comes out of the zucchini as it sweats. So I have gone ahead and um, cut up a whole lot of zucchini here already. So. We're in good shape with zucchini. This is going to serve as our pasta, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of Italian grandmothers rolling in their grave at the thought of using zucchini as pasta, but this is a really lovely, light, elegant dish um, that you can make for your family or for a dinner party. It really is. So the next step, we're going to go ahead and roll up the zucchini in the um, um, in the tofu ricotta in the zucchini. But I did go ahead and make some of the marinara sauce. I have a wonderful marinara sauce recipe. You could use a jarred marinara. Um, and I'm just going to take a ladle full of this marinara. Uh, and I promise you, if you start making your own marinara sauce, you won't ever want to buy marinara sauce again because it's just so easy and delicious to make. So I'm just going to coat the bottom with some of the marinara sauce and then I'm going to start rolling up this and put it in the base, in the baking dish. So I take about a um, sort of a spoon, just a, a small spoonful, in fact I should get a spoon because that would make it easier. Just going to take a spoonful of the tofu ricotta and then I just roll it up in the zucchini. So I have these beautiful little um, roll-ups, and I'll just place these in the base of this baking dish. And I'll just keep going and rolling up more of these. And this is a really fun thing to do with a friend or at a, if you're having a dinner party, so you have guests over, and you could simply do this with your, your guests in the kitchen. It looks kind of fancy, um, and it's fun to do or you could find a family member who wants to come and join you. So now I'm going to invite my daughter Kaylee on to help roll up some of this manicotti because it's a fun thing to do together. Okay. Oh, hello everybody. This is one of my favorite recipes. My husband loves it so much um, and it's so tasty, easy and fun to make with people you love yes. and for people you love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what I'm doing is just taking a little spoonful of this and rolling it up and getting this tray filled up. So. Keep going here and get as many of these rolled up as we can. I typically use a much bigger uh, baking dish than that, um, but this is the one I'm going to use today and then I'll probably put the rest into a separate dish. So.
so. It smells amazing. It really does. The allspice adds mm. that oh. really nice little um, flavor that's a little bit unusual. It was that, it was that I was smelling. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way when you're using allspice. Very creative. So, yeah, really good. I'm brave wearing a white shirt while messing with tomato sauce. <laughs> okay. And this is a lovely recipe to make in the summertime because you've got all the fresh zucchini in your garden. Um, it's also a great time to make the marinara sauce using some extra tomatoes. Yeah, and you could also make this recipe using eggplant as well if you wanted, or yellow squash or something like that. Yeah, eggplant it is, yeah. Eggplant is, is great. Um, and you could stuff this into peppers. It's, but it's so, so good with zucchini. It really is a winner. Yeah. So do you feel like it's necessary to sweat the zucchini at all, or you don't do that? I mean, you can, but I don't really find it makes, I mean, if you get if the zucchinis are too big, they can be a little bitter, and then I would sweat them. But um, this size zucchini, I think it's okay. So. Yeah, I agree. I don't. It's never had an issue with not sweating them. Yeah, and I think in the recipe I, I call for extra foam tofu or foam tofu. You could use a silken tofu. It's just going to be a little um, smoother and softer um, yeah. ricotta. But I like the foam. Consistency. Yeah, and I've done it before where you blend the tofu in a blender rather than just mix it in a bowl, but it's so much easier to just do it in the bowl. Um, and it is a much nicer texture. I think it is more interesting when you just do it in the bowl. Yeah. And less dishes to wash. And less dishes, exactly. <laughs> the speedy vegan style. Yeah. Some nice big um, pieces of zucchini hiding underneath the. Oh, okay. Underneath the paper towel. Underneath the paper towel. Are we going to do another layer? Um, we can do, no, just one layer, I think okay. that's fine. Oh, okay, looks good. like we're done. Yeah. Can we can fit one more right there? One more room? Yeah. Okay. Maybe so. We'll one more right there. Okay. Each to one here. Each to one. Here's this guy. Oh, this smells amazing. Good job. We should be listening to Italian music right now. We should. We're singing Italian. I always think of um, Lady in the Tramp, and I think of Italian. So here's our tray of beautiful. Thank you, Katie. Oh, my pleasure. So this is our beautiful tray of zucchini roll ups, all ready to go into the oven. And I'm going to go ahead and top this with some extra marinara sauce. So I'll spoon some marinara sauce over the top. And then I'm going to pop this into the oven. I cook this uncovered because there's a lot of um, liquid that's going to be released by the zucchini as it bakes. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it uncovered and then I will show you what it all looks like at the end. So I just cook it about 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. So it really isn't that, um, that long that it's in the oven for. But that's all ready to go in the oven. I'll pop it in there about 30 minutes and then um, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. We'll plate it up. I always plate it up with um, fresh uh, basil. And I'm also going to sprinkle some Brazil nut parmesan, which is a wonderful homemade vegan parmesan. And I'll sprinkle some of this over the top, put some fresh basil, and serve it. This is the night. Welcome back. So the alarm just went off for the manicotti. So let's take it out the oven and see how it is. Wow, it smells incredible. Just grab this tray. Here it is, that looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this and I'll show you exactly how I do it. So I want to um, get a nice portion. So I just dig into the baking dish here and I'll just take out probably two rows of manicotti and pop this in the middle of the dish. And you can always come back for seconds. So take one row there and a second row. And I have some hungry eaters in the house today, so I could even go for a third row, but this is how I do it. So I can plate it in there. And then I like to sprinkle some uh, vegan parmesan. So I've got this beautiful Brazil nut parmesan that I'm going to sprinkle on. I'll just give that a sprinkle over the top. And then I always like to garnish 
with a little bit of the basil. So basil is one of the, um, I could either just put a little sprig on top or I could chiffonade some of the basil and um, sprinkle it over the top as well. So there you have it, a delicious zucchini matacati with tofu ricotta and I have the vegan parmesan on top and a beautiful sprig of fresh basil. A very ele elegant dinner.